Today I'm talking about day to life visual novel side stories, with the exception of the Ren Dystopia one because I haven't played that game for obvious reasons. Maybe I'll talk about it in another video with Mayuri around and maybe even Isuka parents, but for now I'm talking about the four visual novel side stories. I'm going to be ranking them in order from my least favorite to my favorite, so let's begin with... Rio Reunion. I don't really care for this one that much. Out of all these non-canon as fuck side stories, this one is by far the least canon since it takes place in a dream and in an alternate timeline. So basically this story doesn't mean anything and none of the information really matters. It has some funny moments, but since the main appeal of the story is seeing the characters growing up and getting jobs and shit, the story basically has no appeal whatsoever. I get why this story was written to show us a glimpse of the Eden timeline, however, overall this story was kind of mediocre and pointless. Unlike the next story... Rene Bath Time, it's just cute day to life slice of life fun. If you enjoy the slice of life and day to life, you'll most likely enjoy this story. It's cute and fun and that's all it really had to be. It's not really that important aside from learning a bit about Rene's ideology, but this was made as a fun slice of life story and that's all it really needed to be. This is also how I learned that Yoshino's breasts are one centimeter bigger than Koteri's and that made me laugh, but anyway, on to... Adesu Quest. Now this is a fun one, day to life isekai except it's kinda like Konosuba because all the girls are in completely useless classes. This is a really fun story but we didn't get to see most of it because it was what, like less than 40 pages? That means they skipped over most of the whole quest and it was mostly just the start and the end. I would have really loved to see the wacky shit they got up to in this adventure but oh well. Really fun story, it just made me wish it was longer. Now, onto my favorite day to life side story, we have... Rio shopping! How could you not love this? It's just Rio being cute and Shido and Rene being proud parents. Oh yeah, Marina being a huge tsundere for Rio. It's just cute and that's all I have to say. Words really can't describe how wholesome this is. You just have to read it yourself to experience it. I'm so glad this story was the one that came with the Rio Reincarnation Special Edition because now I own it physically. And yeah, that's it. Day to life side stories are pretty fun. If only there was a whole series of light novel dedicated to them. What the fuck?